Welcome everyone, this is Zonta with Repo Products. Today's video is on what's new in AutoCAD 2023, specifically the updates to the floating windows. Here I am in AutoCAD 2023. I have four files open, they're just elevations. When we want to float the window, we can left click and hold the tab and pull it out and it floats. We can resize it by moving our uh, arrows uh, cursor and getting it to where we want. Now we can obviously float more than one window. Um, we're going to go ahead and pull them out and if we were to take a look and minimize this we're going to see we have there's four of them. Um, if you were to say left click and drag it and see if the windows functionality works with uh, organizing how they are on your desktop that works as well just kind of an extra little tip um, the new update to the floating windows what they've done is as follows it remembers number one the size of the floating windows when you redock it um, so let's go ahead and move this back in and then we're going to move it back out and it remembers the size. The second thing that um, they've done to update it is, um, let's minimize this. When you left click to float, to jump into another floating window, your AutoCAD command line goes with you. So it kind of helps you a little bit if you're used to using the AutoCAD command line. In addition to the floating windows update here's another thing you can do let's say you've got the window floating like this there's a little push pin right here and if you click the push pin that keeps that floating window up at the front so let's pull a few of these out and I'm going to minimize the AutoCAD screen just so you can see and let's say I want this one to be pinned down and staying physically there not you know moving if I pin it it stays put um, if I were to click and pull this one out, that one stays put. See, I can click it to use it, um, but jumping back to a different window, it doesn't make this one disappear. Okay. And then lastly, if you want to put it back into the AutoCAD interface, you can left click and hold and drag it so it um, pops back into the uh, file tab based mode. Or what you could do is right click the horizontal bar and click move to file tab and so we'll do this for all of them and we'll go back to our AutoCAD and now you can see they're all back all right thank you very much for watching and as always if you have a question just let me know and we'll see you next time